Savage Finance, because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. Welcome to another edition of Savage Finance. This is your host, serial entrepreneur, Glendon Cameron, here to give you information that your mom and dad never had. We want to build a sound and solid financial life for you. So be sure to subscribe. And also, if you're encountering this video three years in the future, go back to the front of the page of the YouTube channel and watch all of the videos because there's economic benefit for you in each and every video. The videos are built upon where each video reinforces the lessons or give you missing pieces of the financial puzzle. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and leave a comment. So today, we're gonna to be talking about why you should stop using your debit card. To be on the same page, what is a debit card? It is something your bank gives you with the Visa logo or MasterCard logo on it that you can use to take money out the ATM machine or to use for purchases. Many people use these Visa cards for purchases. Now this is something that goes way, way back, and you may remember this. If you had bad credit, you could not get a Visa master or master debit card back in the day. Now it doesn't really matter. There are so many banks, there are so many credit unions that anyone virtually can get a debit card with the Visa logo on it. This is one of the main reasons that you want to lose, you stop using your debit card. You lose opportunity. You should only use your debit card to take cash out of your bank's ATM. I've used my debit card maybe six times, and that's when I go to that bank and pull money out of that checking account. That's the only time I use the debit card. Now what? You should be using a rewards card for everything that you use the debit card. To get gas, to pay your bills, to do whatever, buy dinner, whatever. And also, you should choose one rewards card. I personally use my Chase Sapphire card for everything. I use it to pay my car insurance, I use it to pay uh, the uh, tools that I use to run my online business. Uh, my monthly spend is about twelve to $15,000 on that car. And I run literally everything. Every meal that I have, every time I fill up gas, I use that car. And this is why you want to you pick one rewards card. Now, you may have a rewards card that has categories. But by in using one rewards card for everything, it's going to trump those categories. Like, you know, you may get 5X points for groceries. Uh, you, you spend what, two to 400, 500 bucks a month on groceries? So that's $4,000 a year. That's 20,000 points. Eh. I rack up 15, 12 to 15,000 points per month. So you can use, I use, like I said, I use the Chase Sapphire, you use American Express, use whatever rewards card picks your fancy, but you want to use that one card for everything. Now, there's a site called Plastic, where you can use your credit card to even pay your mortgage. Now, there's a 2.5% fee, so you will have to crunch the math if the reward points that you would get would be greater than that 2.5% fee. But doing this, I remember a point in time while I was using my cart very heavily, I was buying online advertising and I had racked up like 800,000 points in one year. What those 800,000 points meant for me was I did not pay for first, cl first class airline travel for about three years. I went to California, I went to Miami, I went to Texas, I went to Las Vegas. All of these trips were paid by for points. And this is the opportunity. Once you get yourself financially situated, you can fly for free for doing something you're already gonna do. You're already gonna spend money on gas, you're already gonna spend money going out, 
You're already going to spend money paying your electronic, your electric bill, your gas bill, my gas bill, my electric bill, car insurance, cell phone, every bill. You channel this through this one card and you treat that credit card like a debit card. Typically every few days or at least once a week, I will go in and I will pay that card off so I don't carry a balance and I never ever pay interest. And I get to use the credit card rewards to travel for free. If I wanted to, I could get cash back, but the points go so much further when you use them for travel. So this is one way that you can, you can use them for hotels, you use them for car rentals. Uh, essentially, you can spend enough money in a typical year where your next vacation could be totally 100% free. Free airline travel, free hotel travel. You may, only thing you may have to buy is your food. Think about that. Because this is one of the things about being a savage finance person. We take advantage of the opportunities that are literally around us. And I see so many people using that debit card for everything. They use it for gas, to buy groceries. And I'm just like, that's a missed opportunity. That's a missed opportunity. And what if you're in the point where your credit is so bad that you can't get a rewards card? I'm about to give you some instructions on how to do this. First of all, what you want to do is go to Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo has a secure credit card that converts. And I'm going to tell you how to get it to convert and how to use it. And it only takes about a year. Go to Wells Fargo, open up a secured credit card. You want to get a credit limit of minimum $2,500, but ideally $5,000 and the max is $10,000. Get this credit card and rarely use it. Use it to get gas or something, then instantly pay it off before you even get the statement. Just go to, because it's going to be in your Wells Fargo app, because you're going to need to have a Wells Fargo savings account or checking account to set this up, and just pay it off. Never, ever carry a balance on this card. Never, ever run up a high balance on this card. And typically, within 12 months, it will graduate. But you can't use it. You, you really can't use it. If you use it to its limit, be sure to pay it off as quick as possible, you know, meaning before the end of the month. Because Wells Fargo is funny. Like if you get this card and you barely use it, it will graduate. But if you use this card robustly, it won't graduate. If you're like carry a high balance or something, then they won't graduate the card. They'll just like, and eh, we're not going to do it. But if you get this card and you don't use it, and this is the key, you really can't use it. So whatever the 2,500, 5,000 or 10,000 that you put on the Wells Fargo card, just count that money gone for a year because you will get it back once it graduates. Now, Part of this is once this card graduates, this should up your credit score 100 to 150 points. And you should be working on your credit. And then I would recommend that you get a Capital One cash back card. Because Capital One is pretty easy to get a credit card. And they may offer you the Capital One Platinum credit card, which has no rewards. But typically, if you get that card, you can get the cash back card. And then what you do is you run all of your spending through that cash back card to raise up your credit limit. And after about a year, you ask, you call up uh, Capital One and say, hey, I want to move my available credit limit to this cash card because that's the one I use the most because I like the rewards. And then you go ahead and once you do this, because this is going to be about a two to three year process if your credit is really, really bad. But once you repair your credit and you get to about a 720, 730, you can get a Chase, you can get an American Express, you can get a Discover card, and then you get this one main card, which is your, cat, your rewards card, and use this to create your spending plan. And you literally run everything through this credit card because even if you don't have a lot of bills and a lot of expenses like I do, my typical spend is way above average American spend. Now, like I said, twelve to fifteen thousand. Also, be very careful with business credit cards. If you have a business, you can go ahead and get the business credit cards if you desire. But business credit cards are treated differently when you 
are in a bad situation. Like with personal credit cards, you can bankrupt out of them and it's, it's done. Business credit cards, they will literally come after you. So you get more consumer protections with business credit cards than you do with, uh, with consumer credit cards, not business credit cards. So be real careful about this. And ideally, if you're in a situation like me where you have a business, you want to simultaneously be building your personal credit and be building your business credit because you're going to need good personal credit to build your business credit. But this is one of the ways that you can maximize and optimize your finances by getting a rewards card because currently I think I have like 104 rewards on this card and I got that pretty much in the last five months it just through my typical spend for so you can get an additional benefit for something you're already doing that's savage so be like me ditch the debit card stop using it only go to the bank's ATM and draw cash out of it. That's the only purpose for that debit card and use a rewards credit card one on everything that you do. This is what I do. And you will rack up a ton of points very quickly and you can be traveling two to three times a year for free. How cool is that? How savage is that? So be sure to do this. And once again, be sure to like, comment and subscribe hit the bell notification button and go back to the front of the channel and watch all of the videos from start up to this video because you're going to get economic benefit you're going to get financial wisdom and guidance from someone who has no debt who has a good in high income no debt and i know how to make money because one of the things i'm going to teach you here at the savage finance is how to make money most personal finance channels deal with investing, how to manage money. Very few deal with the way to create value by creating a business or creating a side hustle. I have done this for myself and I have thousands of students on my other channel. So I can give you the added benefit of teaching you how to make more money because that's going to be, if you're part of the 80 million Americans who make $33,000 a year or less, you're going to need more income to live the life that you want, to live the life that you desire, yeah. to be the financial yeah. savage. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. I'll see you guys in the next video. People wanna talk that talk in reality, you have not seen me in action You think the come up comes overnight, you ain't behind the scenes Trust me, these things don't just happen No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy When you tryna eat, I produce it and rap it I read that contract, you sent me to sign But excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing Hey, you tryna cut out a piece of my pie And I ask you politely, what's it that you offer me, yeah I produce all my own beats and I have no intention of losing my publisher, yeah Independent individual, boy, I've been eating off passive residuals, yeah Let's be professional, thanks for your time but I had to decline at that principle hey, I've been scheming up a plan hey, I've been saving all I can hey, You can call me David Rams hey, The way I handle these bands hey, We ain't messing with the old model hey, You wear a new kid, we full throttle hey, Just know that the come up is not a flow My amigos, they focus, no one to know After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest Stack and stack and stack and put it back in it After I get it, I reinvest Stack and stack and put it back in it. Yo, look, I ain't saying that I'm rich. Cause if I'm honest, I have never been. But when I look at all these other kids, I feel just a little bit ahead of them.